it was getting dark in Gensokyo, and Romilia Scarlet, otherwise known as the Scarlet Controller, was told to come to the harbor. Yukari? she asked. You know why I called you here? asked Yukari with a grin. Why? I heard you wanted help, and so I gave you some help. Then a familiar diesel pulled right beside them. Hello, said the diesel in an oily voice. It's been a while, Romilia. Dezeru, said the Scarlet Controller, narrowing her eyes. Nice to see you, too, said Dezeru sarcastically. Romilia turned her attention to Yukari. Why did you bring him here? Oh, said Yukari playfully. You don't want him? Romilia sighed. She had no choice but to accept Yukari's help and ultimately Dezeru's help. Fine, she finally said. She turned to her attention to Dezir and said, If you cause any issue, any issue, she paused impressively. I'll see to that Flandre gets a new model engine to play with. Dezir tried not to show intimidation, but gulped anyway. He parked himself into a shed next to an unfamiliar engine. The next morning, Dezir set forth to shunt the trucks in the harbor. busy as shunting a train full of donations to the Moria Shrine, when the unfamiliar diesel he saw in the shed last night came beside him. Hello, said the diesel. Greetings, replied Dezero. Are you the new engine? asked the diesel. I won't say that I'm new here, said Dezero. Who are you? I'm Maybach. Who, who do you, who do you might be? asked Maybach. I'm Dezero. The name sounded familiar in Maybach's mind, but decided to carry on. Later that day, Maybach found Chrysanthemum dropping up some spirits for Kamachi's ferry at the station platform. Hi, Chris, greeted Maybach. Hello, Maybach, replied Chrysanthemum. Did you see the new shunter? He asked. No, why? That Dezero fellow seems nice. Chrysanthemum's face dropped. Dezero? Did you say... Deziru? Yes, why? That Deziru's trouble. He once blamed another engine for making rude jokes at the bigger tender engine's expense, said Chris. Chrysanthemum was talking about the time that a hero was blamed for something Deziru had done. Luckily, the Scarlet Controller back then knew what was really going on and sent him packing. When Maybach saw, next saw Dezero, he was resting in a siding. Maybach had more than a few questions to ask him. Hello, Maybach, said Dezero, slick as ever. Maybach wasn't in the mood for greetings. He instead asked him about the time he had pulled those tricks on Ahir. I most certainly did not, lied Dezero. You didn't? Yes. Hmm. Maybach was at a loss for words. It wasn't until night that Dezero was in the shed with Maybach. He had heard from Kamachi about Maybach's earlier mechanical issues. I heard, he began, that you kept failing all those times, Dezero pa paused. If I didn't know any better, you've had a limp regulator. Maybach was taken aback. I have what? I've said it, said Dezero. You have a limp regulator. I, I do not, defended Maybach, but you do. Not even Shinto trinkets can give you luck. How how did you learn about my Amamori? Maybach was now getting upset. Sonia Kachia gave Maybach an Amamori for luck, back before Nidori Kawashiro gave him a complete rebuild. But somehow Dezero got wind of this. I, I knew you were trouble, said Maybach angrily. Who are you going to tell? Maybach had no comeback for Dezir and went uneasily to sleep. The next day wasn't much better. Whenever he would, he would go by Dezir, he would say rude things to him. Dezir's words were so toxic, not even the fairies would repeat them. You're a big black meanie, said Cyrano. Oh, buzz off, replied Dezir sharply. When Chrysanthemum tried to console Maybach, he refused. I know there's something wrong, and I know it, she said. The, there's nothing going on. I'm fine! Maybach sniffed and went away sadly. Chrysanthemum didn't know what to do, 
until that afternoon when she saw Ran Yakimo. Good morning, Miss Yakimo, greeted Chrysanthemum. Oh, hello, Chrysanthemum, said Ran. Ran saw a dis distressed look across the diesel rail car's face and asked what the matter was. Maybach's been acting kind of strange. I don't know why. Suddenly, a voice screamed, You got bruised buffers! The Kitsune, Shikigami, and Lokomotive soon knew what, what, the, what the matter was. It's that blasted Deziru, said Chrysanthemum angrily. Who's... Ran paused. She remember Yukari saying something about bringing help to the railway. I'll have a word with my master and your controller, said Ran, and she dashed off to find a telephone. Romilia was enjoying the company of her sister Flandre when the head maid, Sakuya Izayoi, came into the room. Excuse me, mistress, she began. You're wanted on the telephone. Bother that telephone, Romilia exclaimed. She went over to the receiver and had a conversation. It wasn't long before she hung up. Then the phone rang again. Hello? asked Vermilia. Who's this? Uh-huh. Yes. Hi. Of course, I'll see what I can do. Bye, Satori. Vermilia hung up the phone and told Sakura they were to go to the Zanzu Harbor at once. Deziru was resting in the shed. Maybeck had left to take a goods train to the Hakurai Shrine, and so he was alone in the yard. That is, until the Scarlet Controller arrived. Hello, Deziru, she said suspiciously. Deziru go, y y yes sir? I heard you were causing issues with my engines, telling Maybach all those nasty things. Tell me why I shouldn't let Flan-Chan play with your steel corpse. Sir, I didn't say such things. Even if I happened to have slipped a word, it was all in good fun, excused Deziru. Lies, lies, screamed the lolly. How can you treat an engine so? especially one that has a history of problems. Deziru gulped. He knew what was coming to him. The Scarlet Controller pondered for a moment, and then said, There is another thing I could do to you. What do you mean? oiled Deziru. I could send you straight to hell. Former hell. Satori Komeji told me that she built a railway to take care of her nuclear waste problem, and she haven't got an engine, said Vermilia. Deziru looked at his options. He could either choose death or choose to live in former hell. He chose the latter. That's a gun engine. I'll call for Yukari to pick you up later. The Scarlet Controller and her head maid walked away. For once in Desir's life, he felt genuinely afraid. Maybach came later that day and found out that he had to go back to shunting trucks by himself. Why, he asked. And then he noticed the relative silence. Maybach was happy to have found out that Deziru had disappeared. Ha! Deziru is finally gone. Where do you think he might have gone? Asked his driver. I don't know, rondered Maybach. Deziru hated his new life on the railway in the former hell. The track to the nuclear for furnace and to the dump was hastily built, and he rode roughly on the bad track. The air was hot and his cooling systems were put to their, sh to their limits. His new driver, a careless Oni, did not give a hoot about Deziru and his words. Even Rin Kayenbao and Utsushu Urejui stopped listening to him. Deziru would never see the outside world ever again.